Hey guys, so today is my birthday. I'm 29 today. I don't feel 29 years old. I know someday I'll probably look back and think I was so young. I just feel a lot of gratitude because I feel like I have a good life. I have three great, healthy, amazing kids and a wonderful husband. I have my health. Honestly, I just feel like I couldn't really ask for more because those are the things that money can't ever buy and I just feel really thankful to have those things in my life. I don't know, I guess it just like hit me the other day that this is my last year in my 20s. I've had a great time so far. Of course, there's been hard times just like for anyone. I've had harder times and I've struggled and everything too, but like I've also had a lot of fun and I just feel really lucky and thankful. Um, it's my last year in my 20s and so I wanted to make it special. I wanted to kind of do this as a to like honor the end of, and not the end of my youth, because obviously 30s, is, you're still pretty young. You're as young as you feel, right? Wayne just turned 30, our, week, our birthdays are a week apart, and I met him when I was 15. We're gonna celebrate our 10 year anniversary in January, and I just don't feel old enough to be celebrating a 10 year anniversary, it's crazy. But anyways, I wanted to make this video for mostly like for myself, but also because I like to share these kinds of things. I think it makes it fun. It's also like a way to hold yourself accountable. So I have like this, this end goal in mind. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. What I wanted to do was spend my last year, my 20s, kind of like, um, I don't want to call it a bucket list because that's before you die. <laughs> um, but a list of 30 things I want to do before I turn 30. And I was really close to making it 100 things, but I was like, that's crazy and probably wouldn't be as interesting and then a lot of the things would be small and wouldn't be a very cool video. I spent the last few days thinking about it. I actually made a list a little while ago, but I lost it. Well, when I didn't lose it. We're actually moving and packing. And, um, I think it got packed somehow, so I had to completely redo the list. So I'll, I'll probably find it later and be like, oh, I should have put that on there. Obviously, if it was important enough, I would have remembered to put it on the second list. So I made this list of 30 things that I want to do this year before my 30th birthday. My plan for this is to actually do them and make a video about each thing I do. And then at the end of the year, take clips from this video that I'm making right now and show you guys that I completed each of them. And I think my goal for that is A, to hold myself accountable because I really want to make this second video follow up. And B, maybe it will help lead to another, like more experiences or opportunities or it will help me grow this year so I can go into my 30s feeling very confident and capable of doing the things that I set my mind to and that I want to do because I know I'm going to have big goals for my 30s. And so if I can do these things that I've been talking about wanting to do, it's easy to talk about the things we want to do and even write them down and make these goals, it's harder to actually follow through and do these things. So I tried to make my goals things that were attainable, but also things that I've obviously put off doing or have never done for a reason. Probably because it wasn't always easy or it's really easy to like fall into routines and not do different things. I've been talking about making this video for weeks and it's already the end of the day on my birthday and I'm just barely now doing it. I just barely finished writing on my list this morning and I'm like, I have to do this list or how am I ever going to do this project? This is the first step. This is important to me and I really wanted to do this because I think it will be fun to look back on and I think it will make the year exciting. It will open up new opportunities. Hopefully this will inspire you guys to make your own list of things you want to do, however old you are. Life is short and you know how much time you have. And I feel like there's a lot of things I've said I want to do that I've done and I'm really thankful for that. This week we're moving, we're getting ready um, for two months so some of these things on my list I want to do while we're in Hawaii there's no particular order to when I'm going to do these things um, these are just things I want to accomplish before my next birthday so whenever I have the opportunity to do any of them I'll do them or make them happen whenever I have the ability so there's no order so here we go one zip line I'm thinking this is something I will do in Hawaii because it's beautiful and they have a zip lining excursions on the Big Island. We went a couple years ago and we wanted to but we didn't because we were just trying to save money and not do the expensive things. 
Not that it's expensive, but um, also it's challenging because we have three little kids. So actually, I think we're going to have to maybe go separately. I'm not really sure how that's going to work yet, but we're there. So we should make it happen because who doesn't want to go zip lining through the tropical rainforest? Is there a prettier place? And I think you get to go down and see the waterfall and hike back. So I think you go in a group. I'm not sure. And I know Wayne wants to do it as well. I'm most likely going to have to do this separately, which is kind of a sad thing because I love doing these things with him and with our kids, but we have our baby and so you know what, it's better to just be at work and do it however you can than not doing it at all. Two is another one I'm hoping to do in Hawaii, which is a manta ray swim. I wanted to do this so badly last time and we didn't for the same reasons as the zip line. We just were saving money, um, we were definitely on a budget trip and same reasons with the kids. But this time I want to really try to do that. I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna try and do it. Three, learn a new language. So this is one I've been talking about doing for like 10 years or more. I have been saying I want to learn a new language for so long and I haven't even ever really tried it. I don't know which language yet. I was thinking probably Spanish because I'm pretty sure it's considered the easier of them, but I would really love to learn French or Italian because I just think they're beautiful languages. And also I'd really like to visit Europe at some point and uh, it'd be cool to be able to speak those languages. So I haven't decided which one yet. Number four, meditate daily. And this is a huge one for me because again, I've been talking about wanting to do this for a long time. And I know saying daily sounds a little bit not realistic maybe, but I think if you can't find 10 minutes a day to quiet your mind, then you're in big trouble. I have been wanting to make meditation a part of my daily life for a long time and I just haven't done it. I have gone through phases where I'll do it and I, I love it. So um, at least a few minutes a day, at least 10 minutes a day, I believe that as I do that, it will. I will do it more for longer periods. Five, travel to a new place. So we've been I don't want to say we've been to a lot of places because, I mean, there's so many places, but we've been to a quite a few places, but I want to go somewhere really new that we've never been. Like, we've been on a few cruises, and we've done, I don't really consider that, like, I mean, it's travel, but, like, you only get to stay for a few hours at each port. You don't really get to immerse yourself in it. I would love to visit Tulum in Mexico. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Rocky Point, um, and I've been to Cozumel. My heart is yearning to go to Maldives, even just for a few days. So this one's really random, sandboarding. We live in Arizona and the sand dunes are only about four hours away. So I'm like, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to make that happen. Also, even in between Arizona and Utah, there's quite a few sand dunes around us. So I feel like that should be something we can make happen. I really want to do it. So here's kind of a smaller one, but something I feel like I need to learn how to do before I turn 30 is cook on a barbecue grill. And I really have no idea. I mean, I have like, a small idea, but I want to learn how to like barbecue good food. My husband is really good at it, so I feel like he can teach me. Number eight, this one is something we've been work already working on for a couple years, and I'm bringing it pretty close. The plan is to attain this goal this year, and that is to become debt free. We have been working on paying up our debt for a couple of years, and we're really close. And so if we can be debt free before I turn 30, that would be amazing. I have a lot of things on here that are going to cost some money though, so hopefully we can just work really hard and pay off our debt. Also, I believe it can be done. I really do. I think we probably could have already been debt free by now if we had been a little more careful with how we spend our money. Number nine, grow my own veggies and herbs. I don't really have a desire to grow fruit. Maybe, but I don't know. Maybe strawberries? But I would love to have like an herb garden. There's nothing better than fresh herbs. We talked about moving to Hawaii for a long time and I said I really wanted to have our own, grow our own food and like have a garden there. But we're not moving to Hawaii right now, if ever. Um, and so I feel like I can still do that though and do it here and make it happen still. 10, I would love to visit Antelope Canyon. It, looks so beautiful and amazing and I've been talking about wanting to go there for years. It's not very far, I think it's like maybe five hours or so from here and maybe just take a 
two or three day trip and I have to book tours and it can be a little challenging with kids, but I think it's doable and I want to go and do that. I think that sounds awesome and we live in the state where it is, so there's really no excuse to not go. 11, and this is a financial one and that is to start investing, which we have done in the past and made some money, not a lot. We pulled the money out, we needed it at the time and that stock has grown a lot more <laughs> and so we just want to go back to investing put our money back in and play around with that a little bit 12 is get a massage slash spa day because i've never had a professional massage ever um and i've always kind of wanted one so that's something i feel like i want to treat myself to this year 13 this is a big one and one that i want to do so badly and that is go on a vacation alone with my husband because we haven't been on a trip alone together since we got married 10 years ago so for our 10 year anniversary uh, we were going to plan a trip and that might be two things in one going to one of those places i was talking about going on a trip alone together so that would be those two things 14 eat at a gourmet restaurant what i really want to do is go to one of those restaurants where the chef kind of like asks you what you like and you kind of just i don't know how it works exactly but i think that there's restaurants where you kind of say like oh i like this i like that you kind of give them an idea of what you like and then they make you this like custom meal and it's supposed to be amazing or just go somewhere that has like gourmet food at least once, just because I just want to have that experience. Okay, this one's kind of, I don't know how this will go down at all. Try to break a world record. So my son, we just bought him the Guinness Book of World Records for 2018 for Christmas. So I want to go through that book and I want to pick out one or two or however many ideas we have that we think maybe we could break this world record. And even if we don't, I still just want to try just for the fun of it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm actually really excited about almost everything on this list. There's a few things where I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know, but I still feel like it's important to, to do. This one is the DNA ancestry tests. I just want to know, I don't know, I don't really know. I just think it'd be cool to know. I just want to know, I don't know, I don't really know. I just think it'd be cool to know. I just want to know, I don't know, I don't really know. I just think it'd be cool to know.
people we can relate to and have fun with. It really, that would be really important to me. 22, take a class in something. I'm not sure what yet. It could be a college class. It could be a cooking class. It could be, I don't even know, like a dance class maybe. I like uh, with Wayne because I was just telling him like we should take a dance class and learn how to dance together because we've never danced together ever. It's not sad. I think it's sad. So maybe that'll be what we do. <laughs> and I don't mind that these things are not just me doing them only. I love doing things with my family and my husband. So these are things I want to share, experiences I want to share with them too. So this is a specific kind of class, but I want to learn to surf. I want to... <laughs> It sounds kind of funny actually when I say it out loud because I I have no idea how to snowboard, skateboard, any of those things, but I've always wanted to surf. I just think it sounds like the most fun thing ever. And I've been talking about it for years. Um, I know that Hawaii is probably a great place to learn and to do that, but I can only do so many of these things in Hawaii because it does add up and I know Wayne wants to do some things too. Even if I just get up on the board for a few minutes. So this one's kind of a silly one, but I still want to do it because I mean we do YouTube, so um, I think it would be really fun to do an internet challenge. And there's been so many. Some of them though, I'm like, I don't like that. Like throwing cheese at your baby's face. I just don't think that's nice. But something. I thought one of the cutest challenges was where people would hold up the blanket and then drop, like their dog would watch them and then they would drop it and like look like they disappeared and the dog would get all confused. Those were adorable, something like that, something cute like that. 25 is donate blood. I've never donated blood before, but I would be happy to do it. I know that it's a good thing. I don't have like any kind of like rare blood or anything at all, but I still think that it's important. I would like to make the time to do that at least a few times this year. 26, and this one's a little bit vague because it's something I wanted do a little bit of research on before I decide on something specific, but um, give back or volunteer. And I don't want to limit it to just doing one thing. I'd like to find opportunities to do this throughout the year in different ways. Okay, and this is a 27. This is kind of a small one, but uh, I need to learn how to French braid. My daughter is almost five. I have no idea how to French braid her hair, and I didn't think it was long enough to be French braided yet, but um, she went to our neighbor's house to play the other day and she came home with French braids and I was like, her first braid, I never braided her hair. And I was like, okay, I need to learn how to French braid. 28, and it's kind of funny because I just picked this number thinking it was obtainable, but then I was like, oh, it's perfect because it's for my 30th thing that um, grow our YouTube channel with 30,000 subscribers. This is kind of a big one. Um, we've had our channel for two years about, and we're well, almost three now. And we're at like 7,700 subscribers, which I'm so thankful for. I appreciate you all. And I would like to provide more content and more interesting, entertaining, helpful content and grow our channel because we love doing YouTube and it's been really fun for our family. And so it's fun getting our subscriber count up. So. Thank you everyone who subscribes and watches our videos. We love you. 29, go in a hot air balloon. And I know that this is something they do here in Arizona in the colder months. So I know it's something that we can do and hopefully we can do with our kids if they want to. I know Jason would, but I think it'd be a fun thing to do. I always see them and I just think they're so pretty up there. And it's a little scary, but it's something I want to do. The last one, I was having a hard time coming up with a final goal for the year. My husband was like, take a self-defense class. And I was like, that's perfect, actually. It definitely makes me feel out of my comfort zone because I feel a little silly practicing self-defense with trainers and stuff. I think it's just because I've never done anything like that. So I always have a tendency to shy away, you know, and not want to be in the center of the room where people are watching me. But it's important to know self-defense. And I was like, that is a perfect one. It's worthwhile. I think it will be really good for me and for my daughters. Oh, my baby's awake. So that's the 30 things. Those are the 30 things that I would like to do this year before I turn 30. I am going to 
to make sure I document each and every one of them. And this time next year, I'm going to put together a video of me doing all of them. And I hope that it will inspire you guys to make your own list of things that you want to do and go out and do them. Um, even if you're scared and even if you have to make some changes in your life to do it because you won't regret it at all. I don't think. And I hope that it will open up opportunities for uh, for me and for my family and will be fun and just cool experiences and to be able to know I did those things. So anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up. I gotta go. It's almost dinner time. My baby is awake and she's hungry. Thank you guys for watching this. I'm not sure that I'm going to post this video right now and I save it and use it next year. I just wanted to have it. But I feel like I should post it because then it's like you hold yourself accountable. And then I can post a video of each thing I'm doing throughout the year. Maybe it'll help me grow my channel. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and we love you. Bye.